We just boarded Anthem of the Seas for a seven night cruise to Norway. We're here in Southampton, England, and we are so excited. We made it. We just got on Anthem of the Seas for the first time. We're trying out the key today. So we were the, fort, the first to board at uh, like 10.20, the, they let us on. And you know what? We're somewhere really cool. We're in Southampton, England. Yeah. I've never been to England before. Me either. And we're going someplace really cool. We're going to Norway. So um, another thing with the key is um, we can drop off our luggage. We have a backpack. I also have this piece of luggage too. So I guess we're dropping it off in the dining room and then they're gonna take it to our room and it'll be waiting for us in our room once our room is ready. Very exciting. We made it to the dining room on deck three. We're gonna drop off our stuff right here. It actually feels really nice to drop our bags off. That like, is a great perk, honestly. Yeah, because like we boarded so early, like it was gonna be like four hours of carrying around the backpacks and stuff. So and like, like we needed the backpacks to board because it has this, like our passport, it has yeah. our vaccine information. So like yeah. it's important to have it, but then now we can get rid of it. Yeah, they have a Johnny Rockets on the pool deck because here's the pool. That's really cool. We've never seen that. And it smells amazing. We've never seen that and I really like the idea of that. So right now we're just exploring the ship. We were just in the um, outdoor pool section and now this is like the indoor pool. And down here is the solarium, which is for 16 and up. Oh, it's nice and quiet in here. I love it. So this is a quantum class ship and we really like quantum class. So it might be my favorite. It's hard to beat Oasis class. Yeah. Odyssey is probably our favorite right now, yeah. I would say, maybe. Because it's kind of like a combination because it's got the, like the Caribbean vibes, but it's this class of ship. But we love the Solarium. Look how pretty. Wow. There's a guy. Oh, that's weird. I don't think we can convince your mom that that's a real person. <laughs> yeah. This looks cool. Should we go on the bridge wings just to check it out? Yeah. These chairs are the best. Look at the swings. The what? The swing. Oh my God. I'm going to sit on it. Wow, yeah. And of course we have the hot tubs here. And then another set on the other side. Does this actually move? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this that's, is amazing. That's cool. I feel like someone's gonna put their towel on this and like <laughs> not- I, At 6 a.m.? Yeah. Here, let's, let me push you and see how far we could take this thing. I hope I like go into the pool. Let's try to break it on day one. <laughs> this is insane. Can you imagine like fjord and you're just swinging? Plus the motion of the ship. Oh my god, I'm already dizzy. <laughs> That's cool. This is absolutely insane. Yeah. We've never tried the key before and um, we just wanted to try it out and see if it's worth it. Going into this, I will say we are expecting this to not be worth it, but we just wanted to try it. Okay, Carrie's littering her key passport on the floor. But anyway, um, yeah, we just want to see how it is. And um, the kind of the, another reason why we booked it is it was only a couple dollars more than the faster internet because it comes with the fast internet. And we learned that that's like a must. Um, so if it's only a few dollars more. And I we got to board first. We got to board, like, because we got to board, like, be even before suites or like Pinnacle, it seemed like. Yeah. Like, I kind of think if it's only a couple dollars more than the internet, it, that's worth it alone. I, I agree. But we'll see. We'll try out all the perks it has and see if it's worth it, which might be worth it already. Okay, let's see how hot these hot tubs are. Ooh, it feels warm. Yeah, it feels good. That feels good. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So something that's really cool is our cruise leaves from Southampton, which if you didn't know, that's where the Titanic left. Um, on and the Mayflower. The Titanic started its final voyage here in Southampton, and then it had like two other stops before like heading to America, and then it sank, you know. Spoiler if you haven't seen the movie. <laughs> Yesterday, we got um, to Southampton the day before the cruise. Gotta um, do that. Which is, that's what you have to do. Um, and we went to a cool Titanic museum, and um, ate at a cool Titanic restaurant. It was like, yeah. per, it was themed after the cruise line of Titanic, White Star Line. Yeah, it was called the White Star Tavern, which Titanic was part of the White Star Line. So, you know, we had to do that. Um, we had to. We stayed at a really cool hotel called the Pig in the Wall. 
very old and historic yeah um great shower pressure by the way but um what we learned at the museum is like a lot of the crew um like i would say like even like most of the crew yeah. was from southampton so like they were saying that like everyone in southampton knew someone that died on the titanic so like it really affected the town here so that's it was kind of crazy yeah okay so here's um jeffrey the giraffe he might have a name but so we had the um the panda on ovation and the cat the cat on odyssey so now we have a giraffe who's ready to swim i think i kind of like the giraffe the best i kind of do too he looks really cool i think this is the most impressive one it is it's kind of like on a disney cruise where they have like different like statues in the lobby this i mean this is bigger than that i know but it's just like same idea of like the same class of ship but a different yeah, yeah. um like statue is there a plaque anywhere no no but there's a c-plex when i go to the oh here we go oh oh it's untitled. untitled yeah jeff what is jeffrey the toys r us thing it's the toys r us giraffe yeah throwback so what happened to your shoes <laughs> i'm having some troubles right now because we packed like a week in advance of this cruise which is really good for us because yeah. we're typically like i'm gonna pack at the very last second like not yeah like literally midnight the night before <laughs> and so we thought we did so well like we did such a good job no because 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 <laughs> we packed so early i forgot my favorite pair of shoes that i wear like all the time and so now I'm now you're stuck. in like heels kind of yeah i'm stuck with these shoes that i did pack that are kind of uncomfortable and i don't have any sandals so i don't know what i'm gonna okay. wear when i go into the pool or the jacuzzi okay but this is like a fun mission and see if we can buy sandals on the ship for you it, yeah so we need to try to do that yes. once the shop's open here's the, the kid pool this actually looks kind of nice it's really cool yeah and i mean it's like 75 degrees today so it's it's not that bad to be swimming outside yeah and that's like the main pool with the screen there was the screen always on the side like that i don't remember it was but not on odyssey it oh, was yeah, on yeah. ovation yeah okay but this is something that i don't think we've seen is the band stage right here i don't think they even had a band on ovation no yeah like on our alaska cruise like there was not a pool band because like the pool was always closed because it was just too cold and yeah stormy i also think that the English are probably more inclined to swim in colder weather hmm. than the American. Yeah. I feel very cool right now because I have an American accent. And I know when I hear people with a British British accent, like at home, I think like, wow, they're really cool. So like, now we're cool? I hope people think that we're cool. I mean, they'd be wrong, but it would be <laughs> good if they thought that. So. Brian loves his facts. And you know what? I do too. People might think that I don't, but I was just okay. joking around. I didn't, I, I actually didn't know you were joking. I was, I was joking. But okay, so I see a flag. Oh. And it's got the British flag on it. Yeah. Does that just mean that we're, we are here in the United yeah. Kingdom? Because they put up a flag of like the port that they're at. Okay, so that doesn't mean that it's like. We're still registered in Nassau. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Anthem is. By, the, by we, I mean Anthem. We're a part of the ship now. <laughs> What's up? I got a Red Bull. Wow. Overnight flights are hard. They are. We struggled a lot with our jet lag. Jet lag is real. I think we did it wrong. We decided that like we were so tired at like 5 p.m. We were like, okay, we're so tired. We'll just go to sleep. And then we'll like sleep through and we'll like wake up at 4 a.m. and all will we, be well. We, okay, literally we went to bed at 5 p.m. last night. We woke up naturally like at- like, Seven. Seven. I thought we had a full night's rest. And you were like, at 7 o'clock, I'm like, oh no. And I was concerned because I was like, wait, is it 7 a.m.? No, 7 yeah. p.m. It, you yeah, got seven, two hours. Two hours of sleep, yeah. But then we went back to sleep, and then we woke up at midnight, and then we went back to sleep, and we were okay. But like, it was a struggle. Yeah, but I'm so excited, like, because this, like we teased in the last video, literally my dream cruise. Yeah. I've, ever since I saw a photo of a cruise ship, in the like Norwegian fjords, I was like, I have to do that. And I, for some reason, I thought like I would never be able to go on a like fjord cruise like this. Yeah. Like, and so, like literally, like if I came up with a list of like cruise destinations, this is like the top. What so. I think is cool is like we're we're going to places that are almost inaccessible other than cruise. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, like those. Pla like so, okay. First stop, 
Stavanger. Maybe it's pronounced Stavanger. We're not sure yet. We'll find out. We're going to find out. Um, so that's, that's our first up. Yeah. Then next up we have Flam. After that is Olden. And then after that is Bergen. Bergen is the wettest city in Europe. We have some like cool excursions planned and um, I'm just stoked. I'm, I'm stoked. They gave us this envelope with like key benefits. So let's see what we have here. I haven't opened it yet. This is a, the big reveal. <laughs> Unlock exclusive benefits. Welcome aboard Anthem of the Seas. It's time to unlock the key, your premier access to exclusive experiences during your vacation, blah, 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 blah. Your onboard benefits. Drop off your carry-on luggage on deck three. Done. We did that. Um, they'll deliver it to our stateroom. Exclusive welcome lunch on boarding day on deck three in the chic dining room, featuring the Chops Grill menu with seating from 11.30 to 1.15. So you may be thinking to yourself, Brian and Carrie always go to Windjammer. What's yeah. going on? Why are they not at Windjammer? That's why we're gonna go have lunch. It's gonna be Chops lunch at 11.30. Private hours at ship activities as per the list on the back of this letter. Oh, okay. The Zoom, Brian mentioned this. We get That's the, the internet. stream internet. Seats in the exclusive VIP section and the Royal Theater on deck five and 270. Here's what I think is stupid about this. Um, oh wait, actually, this is better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so online, it says that you have to go like 60 minutes Before in advance the of the yeah. show. And we were like, then what's the point of having reserved seating? This says, we request all guests to be seated 15 minutes prior to the show. At 10 minutes to the show, available seats in the reserved seating section will be released. So 15 minutes is totally doable, yeah. I think. Okay, so let's see the stuff on the back. About yeah, this is, that's kind of the important part. So day two, we get private time on the bumper cars and the rock. That's kind of cool. I think I kind of want to do the bumper cars. Um, and day seven, there's Flow Rider. Huh. That's kind of cool. So it's, it's those three things. Yes. Okay. Oh, please visit the sports deck or iFly desk on day one or two of your voyage to book your iFly or North Star experience. Oh. So we should go to the sports deck on deck 15. Wait, let's do that. Where is, is that on like the other side of this? Yeah. Like where, like I think, so the North Star is like right behind this um, staircase right here. But this is, um, what do they call this? Like we're like the, the star bar or the star bar. It looks like they have a freshly painted shuffleboard, which I gotta say, the shuffleboard at your house is so much bigger. It's literally bigger than this. This is a miniature version of shuffleboard. And the one at my, my parents' house is like regulation size. So these are like cruise ship small. And I'm going to overlay a photo of your parents' house shuffleboard thing because I think it's amazing. It is. It's very cool. Okay, we made our way into the C-Plex, which they have a great taste of music. They're playing some Taylor. And then over here we have the arcade. Now I will say on Odyssey of the Seas, they really expanded the arcade, which I'm happy about. I feel like it's a little small on in Anthem and Ovation. I can't even remember what it's like on Odyssey. Oh, it's like in that, oh, it's, it's the like entire the, yeah. thing. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's see if there's a duck machine. We did bring our own ducks and they're like frozen themed because we're going to Norway, which is like the land of frozen. Okay, there's no duck machine, so good thing we brought our own. Yeah. I should have worn my sneakers. I looked at them and I thought these would be the smart thing to wear, but these are the pretty thing to wear. And now I, you're, you're struggling. I'm struggling so hard. I don't know if this is too grim, but we learned that um, on, at the Titanic wreck at the bottom of the ocean, um, the bodies, the human bodies decayed faster than shoes. So it's just shoes, shoes. shoes, not even bones. The bones decayed faster than the shoes. So you can find shoes there that were attached to people that, you know, passed away. It is a little grim. Yeah, I don't so, know. But these would be good shoes to, you know, have left on the scene. Isn't that shocking that shoes survived longer than bones? It's a little shocking. But I feel like back then, like, shoes were made out of, like, genuine leather. Now our shoes are made of crap. <laughs> so this whole section is no smoking, which we love. Love it. Yeah. Something I was wondering is, like, okay, this cruise is from the UK. Is the casino going to be... Use like what kind of currency is the casino Pounds, using? Dollars. It's using Euros. dollars. Even though we're this cruise is out of the UK, it still is using dollars. So 
I'm sure so they can, American. I'm sure they can convert anything. Yeah. But um, I thought it would have been cool to have like a chip that said like one pound or I don't know, <laughs> whatever the currency <laughs> is. So now we're gonna do our key lunch. A bunch of people are trying to back, um, drop off their bags now. Wow, here we go. They gave us some lemonade. It's fun. That's cool. So here's the menu. It seems kind of limited. But uh, a lot of food for lunch still, so it is. we're going to skip the appetizer. Yeah. I got the salmon with some mashed potatoes, and you got... The filet. Looks good. Yeah. And for dessert, we got the chocolate cake. Okay, we just finished up dinner. Um, nope, lunch. <laughs> oh, shoot. It felt like a dinner. <laughs> it did. Um, <laughs> it, the food was good. It but, was. Um, the thing is, is... Like on boarding day, like we're like running around the ship, we're exploring. I'm not in the right headspace to have a really slow lunch. Yeah. Like the pacing was just, it was too slow for, like I wanted a quick lunch right now, but so I wonder what these walls do, if anything. It doesn't seem like it does something. But this one has light switches. Can I like turn them on? What is that? Oh wait, someone sp spelled something. It says something live dream. Oh, live dream. Believe, live dream. That's an E. Or maybe lie, live, and dream. Let's fix it. Oh, not all of them turn on. Oh, wait, no, this is a scam. Oh. It doesn't actually work. Got it. So you're right that it's supposed to be believe. We found a slice of home here. <laughs> Mickey and Minnie have found their way here. Thank God. Thank God. Just five more flights of stairs to left to go. Oh, we're out of breath because we're walking from from lunch all the way to the top. <laughs> this chef has like 15 decks and we were on three, which is basically the bottom, to 15, which is literally the top. And I'm out of shape. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> no, I have to go over here now. Oh, I want to take the glass one. Here's the, uh, the glass walkway that it's goes It's very clean, now. which just makes it scarier. Let me just do it my way. But people are already in the North Star, which that's going to be amazing in the fjords. I uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, I, I'm so excited. We went on ovation for Alaska. And when we were on, the North Star didn't work the entire trip. It was like being repaired, the whole cruise. Look at it go. It's already so high up. We're going to go make our reservations for that now. Because I bet it's going to sell out. I bet the fewer days are going to be in like really high demand. Yeah. There it is. It's all the way up now. We just made our reservation. So by saying that we have the key, which was like the secret password, <laughs> we were able to book for day seven, which is a sea day. So we get the extended version on the sea day. And we also learned that at 8 p.m. every night, the bookings open for the next day for the like basic version, not the extended version. Yeah. And that's because those are port days. On port days, it doesn't do the extended version. So basically at 8 p.m. every night, it's going to be like at Disney World, like getting your boarding pass. Getting your fast pass, yeah. that kind of thing. But we want it for when we're like in port, because I think that's going to be the coolest. Yeah, because there's like mountains and stuff. Yeah. So I'm glad we have it for day seven, but we're going to do the 8 p.m. thing. Yeah. We made our way down to 270 which is a really cool space because they have like a cafe, places to sit, and then they also do a show here at night. We should go look out the window though. Okay. It says it's 270 degrees, but um, I don't think it actually is 270 degrees <laughs> because that the window, it goes from there to there. It's more like 180. I'm gonna make everyone sick by turning the camera around. 270 degrees is actually the temperature of the room. <laughs> Here's a better look at it. Like it's not 270 degrees but close enough. This area is awesome for a cold weather cruise because you can get great views from in here and stay warm. And our hotel was like right where that wall is. It's really hard to see, but there's oh, yeah, like that stone the wall. wall. And our hotel was called the pig in the wall. And so yeah, like we literally walked from our hotel and then went down that sidewalk and got on the ship. And let me tell you, yes, that looks really close by, but when <laughs> you're carrying lots of luggage- Two 50 pound, bags of luggage we because yeah. we like to pack heavy and um yeah. well when you have like raincoats and umbrellas and and it's all pants yeah it's hard it's hard people so i'm and it's like cobblestone and it like doesn't work on the the wheels those people are doing it that was us earlier yeah that was us 
Oh. Oh, this is one of those things for I want to do it because I never really got to do it. It was just you. I got to film you doing it. Yeah, they have like an augmented, augmented reality game in the app. Brian loves augmented reality. <laughs> oh, there it is. Expedition 27. I'm going to start my adventure. Okay. The state rooms are all now open. Thank you. Okay, well, who cares about this game? I'm really though? struggling. It doesn't matter because the staterooms are open, so... Let's go to our Now room. this game means nothing to me. Yeah. Our room is on deck six, and we picked it right by the stairs in the elevator on purpose because it's the best location. You don't have to walk very far, and you don't hear anything anyway, so... Here are our names. Okay. I have to check because we all know that I made a mistake one time. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I like the color. Ooh, it's a cool thing. color. Wow, okay, let's make sure we have the key on here. It doesn't say. Oh, look, there's a little key. Oh, there's a little key icon, okay. That's cool, okay. And we have a doorbell, so let's hit that first. Yeah. Nice. After you. Wow, oh, our bags Ooh. are here. Oh, this looks nice. This looks delightful. Oh, look, somebody left. That's already in there. Oh, it's like a, it's like, this is like it's an a official, it's a light, because you need this to turn on the lights and it's like. I appreciate That's good that. because no one wants to deal with that. No. But yeah, this is the J4, AKA Spa Junior Suite, which is our favorite room that we've ever stayed in, in a Royal Caribbean ship. Wow. Ooh, we got a bunch of water. We ordered that ahead of time. I'm glad it's still because you know, here in the UK, they like their sparkling water. Yeah, those sickos. Yeah. <laughs> Compliments of Crown and Acre Society. What is it? Cookies! Oh. But then. But there's no have... chocolate chip, so what's the point? We have the key one. Oh, what is this? Wow, fruit! Wow. Do we like fruit? No. We like cookies. Yeah. <laughs> but look at how much bigger the TV is than on our last cruise was a Disney cruise and it was like. It was I... pretty small. See, this is much nicer. It is. Oh, let's go out to the Crown Jewel. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, we're right above the Oh my god, we're right above where people are boarding. That's cool. We can like watch them board. Oh, they're in line right now, and then we'll spit on them as soon as they oh, are about to board. That's good. Um You know what's really great? What? There's like lifeboats down there. Yeah. But like, we're on the bump out. We're on the bump out. We strategically picked Pick the, the, the J4 Spa Junior Suite because it seems like every other balcony on the ship you have a view of the lifeboat. Which, by the way, there's not enough by half. I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is, I mean, this is the best balcony. These chairs. Look at this. The cushions. Love Gotta love it. Like, these are my favorite balcony chairs ever. They're very far apart. I guess they don't want us being near one another. Yeah, but we have a great view of the world's largest Ikea. I'm kidding, I don't know We don't know it if it is. It just looks really big. It just looks like it. Um, we have a little couch here. And uh, I guarantee in like two hours, this is gonna become a table for all of our stuff. We're gonna trash this room. <laughs> As we normally do. Oh, we got our cruise compass. We get a top tier event. Top tier. That's tomorrow. Thank goodness the dress code is casual. Let's see what the- um, Oh, it's only for you. Ha, huh. that's weird. Let's see what the menu is for um, the Windjammer tonight. Um, Windjammer. Oh, pub, pub grub, grub favorites. Okay, I think I know where we're going for dinner tonight. Oh, pub grub. Cause that's like- That sounds like English food. And I was wondering if we were gonna have English food on this cruise. Bangers and mash, cottage pie, fish and chips. Okay, we're doing that we're for doing dinner. That. Okay. We gotta, you know, eat like the locals. Yeah. In it. In it. We got a cooler here, which, why is this locked? There's nothing in it, but um, you could lock your cooler. We have our, um, espresso machine which you get in a, a junior suite or above i think but we'll probably never use it <laughs> i don't know maybe you you made hot tea that one time. i did and it was on a cold cruise so this is a cold cruise so maybe i'll make some hot tea yeah as the english do okay let's check out the bathroom which is why this is that's the reason why we're here it's yeah so this is um this is like the the toilet area which we love that it's separate from the main bathroom <gasps> Wow. Oh, is he, it looks so nice. This is so... So we have a tub and then the walk-in shower is separate. Like technically... And there's this rainforest thing and this thing. So yeah. like if you're really tall, I feel like it works well. I like that you're putting this right on my face. Oh my God, I didn't, I didn't realize. But then they have like this bench. You know what I'm realizing is there's no um, 
like soaps in there. That's weird. That is. But they have soap here. We gotta like hack into it. I mean, I brought my own. But that's weird that there's not. That is kind of weird. I'm gonna ask, ask the guy about that. You should ask the guy about that. But but no, technically, like, if you wanted to, someone could shower and take a bath at the same time. Not that anyone would probably do that. And then this is like, you can kind of see, but you should go into the shower and let's see if I can see your Okay, shower. I'm gonna pretend to shower. You, you can't really see into it, but you could probably see someone's shadow. Yeah, I can like hardly see you, so it's not really much of anything. I love a J4. Yeah. Oh, there's more towels in this drawer. That's oh. nice. Is there any like soap in the top? I kind of was checking that. There is no top drawer, but. That's cool. I never lots, knew that. Lots of towels, like if you need. I feel like we've never noticed that before. We've stayed in this room like three times now, this type of room. Yeah. I will say, so of course we tried Royal Up. Um, we didn't get it. We didn't get it, but we did get an email that was like, you know, you didn't not get it. If somebody doesn't like show up today, then yeah. maybe you can get bid. So we can't get too comfortable here. No, I don't think we're getting it. We bid the minimum. We bid the minimum. We're not getting it. It's it's really, you have to be very lucky to get Royal up. I, I don't think- Especially people, when the ship is at like full capacity like yeah. it is. I don't think people realize how lucky you really need to be to get it. Look at this crazy statue we have here. It's weird. I can do that. Easy. Okay, do it right now. But you can't because you don't have a, <laughs> God. We get a hair dryer. And I bet this was like menus for breakfast and room service. You know what I really like doing? I like doing the thing where you put the doodad on your door handle. Yeah, do we have any of those? I thought it would be in here. Okay, something um, something that's cool is there is a plug to charge your phone right by the bed with an American outlet, so that's cool. But I don't think my side has that. Okay, let's check out the closet. Oh my God, there's been a mistake. Someone left their stuff in here from the previous cruise. Oh no. Someone has great fashion sense. Look at all this views and cues, merchandise, all this clothing. This Look looks it. amazing. Wait, what's that? Wait, there's a hidden duck a underneath duck? this amazing views and cues jacket. This I don't, stuff I'm gonna go cool. complain to guest services because someone's merchandise that they probably bought on Etsy or views and is, is here. They lost it. I mean, that shouldn't be. Yeah, how could they leave their probably most prized possessions here? I don't know, but we need to make sure that they are returned. Yeah. We just pulled away, the ship is turning around right now, and we decided to have dinner at the Windjammer to get some pub grub. And we're having it outside, which I love. Yeah, I love that there's an outdoor section at this Windjammer. Yeah. I wish every Windjammer had that. So that way we can watch Sail Away yeah. while eating our pub grub. So what'd you get? I got a lot of things, but I feel like it's mostly not pub grub. I did get bangers and mash, and then this is prime rib, baked pasta, barbecue chicken. I don't know what kind of bread this is, but it looks cool, so I got yeah. bread. That's good. Yeah. They had so many things that I've never seen before at Windjammer. Yeah. Like they had crumpets. I don't even know what a crumpet is. But we're gonna have one. And they had like fresh fish and chips, like they were battering oh, yeah. the, the fish right there. That was amazing. And I got I got stuff that I've never seen. This is a cheese and onion pasty. I don't even know what that is. This is a vegetable pie. And this is a um, fisherman's pie. This a lot of a, cool stuff. This is a lot of food, but- um, You had to try it all. I had to try it all. I've never seen this stuff. Yeah. I think it's so cool that they have that. It's dinner time, question time. Um, before I ask the question, I wanna say this stuff was really good. I agree. Um, Windjammer on Quantum Class seems to be amazing. Agreed, and it's even better to eat outside. Yeah. The question tonight. Will you ever take a cruise outside of the US? For example, Europe or Asia? Robbie Matheson asked this one. Well, Robbie, that's a tough question, but I've got to say, I'm thinking sometime around right now, we are planning on taking a Europe trip. Yeah. Okay, th that, that question doesn't count, so we're going to ask another one. Yeah, we'll do a real one now. All right, this question is from Erica M, and she asked, what's your favorite cruise memory cruising as a couple thus far? I think what it is for us is boarding adventure the first cruise back after COVID shut down, um, we just, we wanted to go on a cruise together so badly. Our cruises kept getting canceled. Um, the, excitement, the excitement, the hype. Yeah, 
It was just so the exciting. fanfare. To finally cruise together. People were like clapping as we boarded. We were one of the first people who boarded. I like yeah. couldn't sleep that night because I was so excited. Yeah. There, there was just, it was just, we had so many cruises get canceled. The cruise shutdown was so long. Like it was like well over a year. I'm not sure exactly. I want to say like 18 months. Um, but like that's when like I introduced Kiri to like cruise vlogs. Okay, I thought you were about to say cruising and I'm like, no, no, that's no. not true, okay. I don't know, we're just, we're just like sitting at home in lockdown and like I like turned on YouTube on the TV and like search cruise vlogs, like which is like something that I have done in the past, but like, and then Carrie was like, what is this? Yeah. And I was trying to explain like, no, this is, this is a normal thing to watch. I didn't understand that cruise vlogs were a thing. Yeah. I'm glad so, I know now. Yeah. Very fun, good times. It was so nice to watch those, like, because we couldn't go on a cruise. So, yeah, we had watched a bunch, you know, before our, our cruise. To our build the cruise. excitement. Yeah. Okay, we got a scone dessert to go, which I've never seen that in the wind chamber before. And we're sitting out here watching us sail away. And? And watching National Treasure. One of Which, the greatest movies of all time. And I don't know why they're playing that movie. It doesn't make a lot of sense on this cruise because <laughs> it's very set in America yeah. and American history. But, but they are trying to steal the Decla Declaration of Independence. Which is something that British people would probably like. Yeah. <laughs> but I think it's so funny they're playing that. And what's funny is we also just watched that too. <laughs> like a couple months ago. Yeah. <laughs> We came down to the Esplanade. We're gonna go into the shop to see if we can find Carrie some sandals or flip flops or something. Anything. They have a model of the ship. That's cool. My hopes are not high. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have it. We're gonna have to try the other stores, I think. I think you're right. Okay, this store is probably our last hope. Right. Gloves and scarves. That's nice if you forgot that for Norway. And normally we wouldn't need like flip flops is just like because going to the hot tub or the pool, it's like better to have sandals. Yeah. I'm actually shocked we're not finding sandals. Oh, oh my god. These are perfect. <laughs> How much are they? 34. Do you need a lemon? Um, not today. Man, right, let's see. So you got them. You got your size. I'm so excited. Because I really like, I just like wearing flip flops around the ship. I like wearing them when I go to the hot tub. Yeah. So this is a necessity. It's like the only thing you forgot to pack. It is. Yeah. These look nice. So we're gustless, but it's okay. We know that on day one, yeah. gusts don't happen that often. All is well. Yeah. But at least we got our cruise compass. Yeah. And look, we're time traveling. Oh yeah, we're we're already plus six hours on our normal time zone, so we're moving to plus seven. We left Southampton. Now we're in the English Channel, and then we're gonna go up this way. So tomorrow we're gonna be in the North Sea, and the uh, the cruise director said it might be bumpy tomorrow. So we are prepared. Yeah, we're we are. mentally prepared because we 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 did Alaska. We knew that there were rough seas. We knew that the North Sea was similar to, to that. So we have mentally prepared ourselves for that and we're ready. Yeah. No big deal. Coming up in our next video. We spend all day on board Anthem of the Seas. We discover a new kind of bingo and eat some specialty dining at Azumi.